welcome to another adventure. Today, we're going to go and recover a bottle that was left behind. And while we're there, we're going to um, do some metal detecting. So when I get there, you'll see what I find first. I'll be back. Okay, I was just out here on my way to find that bottle that I left behind and was going over an old lot here where I used to do work for the lady who used to own this property. And uh, I'm walking over and I found a couple pieces of junk. But uh, I was walking over and I found this thing here. Check it out. How about that? It's all there. It don't look cracked or nothing. And then not far from it. There are good old fashioned oyster shells. You know what they mean. They mean old times. I'll be back with the next thing I find. I'm definitely in the right area for looking around. I found more glass. There's this one. That top's pretty old. Here, let's flip this around. You can see it better. That one's pretty old. Cold cork top. And I'm keeping my bottle. Uh, I've seen another one. It was purple, kind of. No. There's something embossed. It's broke. Um, where was the other one I just saw? I moved and lost it. Just like that. It ain't hard to do, either. Bummer. But anyhow, it's the same place where that oyster shell was. I'm scouting around. I'm looking for something. There's got to be something old here. Something old and cool. So I'll be back with the next cool thing. Hey, here's a piece. Look at that. Some blue stuff there. There's something. Found a button. Nice. Glass button. I like glass buttons. I'm about to put that in the pocket. Yes, indeed, along with that bottle. Check this glass out. There's some old green stuff there. I mean, look at it. That's an old bottle fragment there. There's got to be some good stuff in here. Got to be. What happened was when they tore this house down, they scalped the ground and pushed it all up on this pile right here. So, it's hard to say what all they might have unearthed and I just haven't found it yet there's all kinds of fragments of pottery Mump, big old pile of coal here I'm gonna go over this pile with the metal detector see if anything turns up I'll be back with the next cool thing I made it I made it to roundabout where I've left them bottles I got a train over here making a bunch of racket Kind of swinging the metal detector around a little bit. So I found one of them. You always find them by the railroad, right? I'm gonna hang them up in the tree for future reference. I know I've been here now. There's a whole mess of them there, a whole box of them probably. But yeah, everything's grown up since I've been here last. Uh, this itchweed stuff's horrible. It's one to eat me up. Got these other things out here. Oh, I see that. That's just a metal object. There's a big old trash dump down in here. Some metal springs. And, uh, I'm just, um, checking it out, seeing what all is here. So far, I ain't dug nothing but junk. I mean, I junk nails and had a nail get in my shoe, but luckily I lifted up before it got me in the foot. Um, that one sounds kind of interesting. Ow. Let me see if I can see this one without digging. Sometimes you can. 
We got a bunch of sticks and stuff here. Some wild strawberries, that darn itchweed stuff. There's a rock. See if it was under there. There's a piece of coal there. I wonder if that was it. Nope. It's saying four inches. I'm gonna go ahead and dig it. See what we come up with here. Uh, so far I've been unlucky to find my bottle. Someone else might have done found it. Let's see what we got in the hole here. We got stuff. There's rocks. We got rocks. Big chunky ones. What else we got there? There's a bottle. Might have found a bottle. That nope, found a broken bottle. Oh, it's probably his lid then. Alright, I done pulled it all out the hole. Now let's see if we can find a target. Let's see if it's still in there. It is not. I'll find my target now. Maybe it's in here somewhere. I don't know. We'll feel around and find out. We'll just sit this here and swipe over it. Ain't nothing in that rock. Maybe some of that. Nope. Maybe this chunk. Nope. This one. Nope. Man, I have no idea what that was or where it went. So I just smear them around. We'll swing over it again. I don't know. I thought I had something that looked like it was right. Alright, till the next video, maybe I'll have, next clip, maybe I'll be able to show you something without all the noise from this train. I'll be back. Well, I'm having a hard time remembering where I left them bottles at. There's a jar here, but that ain't what I'm looking for. I know I had them down here, and I had them... And a little stack with a couple other items. And I knew I shouldn't have kept going forward because that's when you lose it. Yeah, I have no idea. that one see what that signal brings us up hey I found the blue look at that got me a blue bottle my favorites All right see if we can see what that says I forgot about using this zoom on the camera here might be able to see it Six. I believe that's 
fixed. I can't see my glasses leaning on me. Alright. I found blue. Till the next thing. I'll be back. Oh, wait a minute. I was looking for something here, wasn't I? And then I found blue. Alright, we're going to sit the blue there. And, uh, see what we got here. Right here, I'm gonna pull out the knife here and see what we can turn up. Sounds like a lot of glass. And you come down here with a rake and do some cleaning up. Oh, there's a pipe right there. I wonder if that's what I'm hearing. I think they put a Scraped it off. There it is. I see it. It's a lid on a bottle. Alright, so the next thing. Well, let's take that real quick. Because we could probably use him still. I'm going to put that in the pocket. See what other stuff we can turn up from here. I know there's other stuff. Oh, yeah, my bottle. My jar, I mean. He's got somebody living in there. I'm going to have to evict him real quick. I'll be right back. I did it. I found my bottle stash right here all this itchweed stuff done growed up in it I don't think this one's the itchweed because it ain't making me itch yet it looks like it but it's different it ain't fuzzy but here's my couple bottles and stuff they survived yep now all I gotta do is wrap them up and take them out Oh, yeah, I got some cool stuff here. Yep, I am so happy. That's a Death Valley bottle. This here Coca-Cola bottle it says Death Valley on the bottom. I know he's not super old, but Death Valley, California. He come a long ways. I got a couple other things here. Some glasses. I got a glass. Some white glass, three white glasses, uh, this little old cork top. He ain't got nothing on him, no, he's just slick. Um, this one's not slick, this one's got stuff on it. Hicks Capudine for headaches, colds, and crip. How about that? And here's another one. I don't know what that is. Sun cream? Maybe. I don't know. I can't make it out. But anyhow, he's pretty old. He's full of dirt too, though. I don't know if I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna take that one too since I done got it. Alright, well I'm gonna get my uh few items together here. And I might swing a little bit more. I don't know. I think I might just try to get out of here. There's a little flat right there that I might check out. That would have been the people's backyard back in the day, probably. Or I might go further that way. I don't know. But these, I got a bag up now. I'll be back. Well, I was just poking around under them tree roots over on the other side there. Found me a little chunk of lead. Uh, go ahead and pull that out. See what I'm talking about. Just a little old chunk of lead. Pretty heavy. So I come up from there because I got tired of digging in there and not finding nothing. Cause it's a whole bunch of iron and stuff, I guess, from the cinders of the railroad. Well, I come over here and got me a high signal. Check this out. Ooh, wait a minute. Ooh, look at that, would ya? I see if we can zoom in a little bit. A little better detail on it. Got a little swirly pattern around it. Um, there's some kind of a can. And there's something in it. It's white on the top. Got a little brassy showing through it. 
So I'm gonna guess that this is brass, it's probably a compact of some kind. I am really psyched over this. This is good stuff for me. I don't find stuff like this whole too often. But yeah. Well, it's starting to get really gloomy and the sun was supposed to come out. I'm gonna put this in my pocket until I can get somewhere better to do this. Um, we'll swing back over the hole real quick, make sure I didn't miss nothing. Let me uh clean off my blade. There we go. Put that in my pocket. Yep. Yep, that was the prize. I found it. There we go. But, uh, <laughs> I'm debating on getting out of here. Well, I just found a square bottle. I don't know if I want any more bottles. My bag's full, and I'm getting kind of weighted down by them. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like it. It don't look broke. So, I might take that one too. It's got a little something on it. A little design. Some numbers. Uh, something pattern. Numbers. Yeah, it's a neat jar. I'll take it. I don't think it's broke. Yep, I'll take it. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and swing on, see what else we can find right here. Right here I found an old wall the last time I was here. And uh you never know how long ago the walls was built. I heard something. That's not important. That's not what I'm looking for. Anyhow, we're going to go on up through here. Boom. There's them darn slippery things again. I made the mistake of leaving today without changing the batteries in my, in my metal detector. And they died on me earlier, so I had to change them up. I'm not getting nothing else here. I think I need to go up the hill from that last spot. And finding stuff too. Like this old piece of gas tube, gas something line. Yep, that's what he was for. Some kind of gas line. Alright, we're going to head one up through here. See what comes up. There's a wall. There should be some walls up here somewhere. I'm trying to get up here without breaking nothing. Uh oh, I found another bottle. I hope it's whole. Ooh. It looks good to me. R R R Radway and Company, New York. Tell me about that one, would ya? Oh yeah. All over it. Act of Congress. What was an act of Congress? I don't know. We'll have to do some some homework on this one. Man, that one's awesome. Make sure we ain't got no ant colonies in there. I don't want to put no ant colony in my pocket. Alright. Man, that was a cool one, wasn't it? Let's see what else we can find over here on the hill. And that was just laying on the hill. Man. That's a, oh. Beating up my metal detector. Man, that was a cool old bottle, wasn't it? Oh, there's more, I think. I'm getting hung up with some tree debris. Yeah, there might be more glass here. I thought I seen shiny like glass, but I don't see it now. I 
I am swinging all over here. Man, that bottle is old. At least it looks old. How old? I don't know. I'm going to have to check down here by this rock. I'm sure somebody sat here a long time ago. I found a target in some poison ivy root. Go figure. Whatever it is seems big. Well, let's poke around and see what we got. Pull out the tool. Shake the stuff off the top. See what we got. They're saying it's on the surface too. So now I'm really curious. Because if it is, what is it? Because I don't see it. Found it right there. Now we'll get it out, whatever it is. <clears throat> what do we got? What do we got? What is that? Oh, it's one of them. All right, we'll take it. Let's see if there's anything else. Nope. Amazing. Alright, I'll get my tools before I lose them. Go ahead and knock the stuff back up there that was there. I had to clean up my tool before I put it in my pocket. And of course my pin pointer has to be put away. I'm gonna go uphill from this rock, I think. Yep, that train is loud. Whoa, sticks, whoa, sticks. I'm hung up in my backpack in the tree. All right, we're gonna go uphill where all these big rocks are. Huh. Let's get on up the hill, right? Let's see what else we can find up here. I would think somebody would have sat on that rock, wouldn't you? And look at that joker, how big it is. Back it up. Yeah, that's a big old boulder there, right? Well, this ain't working so great. But I bet you there's all kinds of bottle dumps back here. I was reading, or watching the show the other night. Dude in Mississippi gave up a, a whole bunch of details on how to find them bottle dumps. And uh, they're everywhere.
no doubt. I mean, you never know where or what you're going to find. But, uh, circumstances are, we're going up the hill a little further. I think this is an old road up here. Oh, beating up my metal detector with that last bottle I found. <laughs> Go up here to this flat spot and see what's in that. We can get to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I bet there are hundreds upon thousands of old bottles back here. <laughs> I'll hang this guy up till I come back around the next time. Old piece of uh, antenna. I'll lean him up against the tree till I get back. My bag's so heavy. If I can't fit it in my pocket, I can't bring it home. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Oh, I found something. What's this? An old lid or something. Oven bottom, I guess. I'll right, leave that there for the next. Nope, nothing there. There's a rock here for something. Well, this feels like a bunch of stony stuff here. I think that's a wire out of it. No, that's just a salt or something. Another milk jug. Just the top. Man. There's Brock here. That's the way his old fence post or something. Uh, now we're up on this flat. See what's up here. Four inches, right there. Let's see what we get. A little bag of junk here. Let's get some of the uh, top stuff out the way. Let's sweep it again. This 
second four inches still have to check it out All right Now we got the hole opened up. Let's see if we can find it. Well, now we gotta do the pick the chunks up and swing them over the coil it's out of the hole whatever it is Now I see if it makes noise. That says four inches still. And that's saying, they were saying 50 cents. 10 cents. So, I'll be back. I found life. The one under this rock. Look at that. How about that? A little itchy bitsy snake. Look at that. A little pink belly. There he goes. And he's on his way. He don't know where he's going yet. I don't know where he's going either, so. I found me a couple pieces of metal. I'm on my way. My battery's dead in my metal detector, so now I'm just eyeballing and it's starting to get dark. I'll be back with the next cool item. I found one. I'll be back. Alrighty. Well, this wraps up my bottle and metal detecting adventure. Um, found this cool bottle here. Flip the switch for you. Check that out. Hicks. Capadine. For headaches, colds, and crip. Cork top. Hole. Good shape. That one there. Not such good shape. Let's see if I can get this to focus here. Alright. That's not playing very fair today. But anyhow, that one has RRR, Radway, and Company, New York. It's got some cracks in it. They're pretty significant. But I got it because I don't have one of them bottles. Um, see what else we got. We got that big glass there. Big old tumbler. Pretty good shape. Use it to display something. Um, got a little jar, little some kind of jar, cup maybe. I don't know. I think it's a jar. It's got a little lip inside the top of the seal there. And the whole trip was based upon this bottle right here. I got this Coke bottle. Uh, found it down along the railroad, and on the bottom. 
says. See, I'll get you to see it too. Death Valley, California. That joker come a long ways. It don't have no patent number or nothing on it. But, uh, I grabbed it just because of where it was said it's from. I don't know if it's really where it's from or not. Found this big toy soldier guy. There's a seven and a half ounce or eight ounce bottle. Eight ounce bottle. A pretty tall little plastic army dude. Um, we got Pluto, right? Pluto, I think. Uh, poor guy, he's missing a leg. Anyhow, the first bottle I found was this one here, which is sample bottle, Dr. Kilmer's Swamp Root Kidney Cure, Binghampton, Hampton, New York. And that's another one of them aqua blues. I like them. And I was just telling my girlfriend I hadn't found a three in one oil bottle. And here's one here. I got one. Uh oh, my display thing's falling apart. Sorry, we're gonna get some severe thunderstorms tonight, I believe. Uh, Pond Star, another white container. That one there, somebody put a Heinz lid on. I thought there might have been something in it, but it wasn't, just dirt. Uh, Vex Vapo rub bottle, that little. I guess a cologne bottle, I really don't know. Um, this cool looking little brown bottle, that's a different one. I don't think I have any of them yet. But now I do. Cork top I saw, I found four pennies. That's it. That's all the coins I found. Found the aluminum storm door latch, some more aluminum stuff, uh, some little tab and a pencil eraser thingy uh that lock hasp a punch out from an electric box i believe that's a button it looks like it's got a shank or something on the back of it uh it looks old crusty rusty uh old faithful pool tab i don't even know why it's there already put the rest of them away it was a whole mess of them a ceramic doll arm uh, a glass button check out this button i'm gonna Hope you can see it as good as I've seen it. But it's got a little pattern on it. Ain't that cool? And then we got that plastic button. Um, that one penny, that one, that one came out of my pocket looking real shiny after walking around with it in there for a little while. Um, got this guy here. Let's back out a little bit. Uh, that's for the electric poles, I guess. So they inspect them. Got this big brass thing. A bolt, a cap or something. When I first found it, I thought it was a bell. Because how big it was. And there's what I did the old scratch test on it. Looks like brass. Um, don't know what that is. Uh, some copper wire. Some more melted kind of copper. This appears to be copper. That's a big chunk of it, too. I mean, it looks like it's copper. Did it double scratch test, too. But, uh, got this compact, which is really pretty big. It's, uh, well, let's see. There it is. We got, like, three inches or so. It's got deer on it and some kind of wreath underneath of it. Got this white melted plastic blob of glass this thing here I have no idea what that is heavy real heavy this copper thing that fell apart those two pieces was connected um that neat little button here focus that in a little bit for you check out the details on it like a brushed like look to it ain't that cool Um, found this plate here with a six on it. That's copper. A little Minnie Mouse charm thing. What appears to be another button I'm not sure of. Um, it could just be some copper disc. I don't really know. I can't prove it to be anything other than so. 
that's one of them I don't know. Uh, pencil sharpener, one spoon, stainless. I think it says USA. Does that say USA? Wait a minute, does it? Whoa. I think it does. But anyhow, that one there, that was a plated fork. And it's uh pretty rough to see, but it says something sterling. I mean uh plate somebody's name and a plate number thing. On there, see if we can get on there and see it. Yeah, my camera's uh having problems focusing today. That's kind of new because. It's been working really good. I might have got the screen dirty. The lens, I mean. Um, anyhow. Here's a square bottle with some kind of an emblem on it. As you can see that or not. You can see that mark on it. Yeah, R&B. Some kind of coat of arms. I don't know. Some retro bottle here. I don't know what brand that is. Um, Sun. Sun something. I don't know. This little pocket flask. Uh, mason jar. Seals. Um, looks like that about wraps it up. Some lead junk. You know, that battery terminal. End piece, couple flat pieces, uh, then a couple globs there, the thing there, I guess it's a faceter. And this thing here is some kind of plumbing, I guess. Like it hung on something. I'm not sure. Uh, brass hose fitting. And, uh, yeah, that does it. That's all of it, right there. Try to take me a picture of it real quick. Yeah, it's a pretty wide display. Wider than usually what I bring home and spread out. But, uh, oh yeah, this light was in the ground too. I dug it up too. But, um, I found this on my way out that day. Watch for God. So, that was pretty neat. Until next time, get out there, have a good time, and above all, be safe. See ya.